Let me explain maybe? So let's assume we're on gedit, and we have some lines we want to sort. That's a very common case on code files, for example when we want to tidy up our imports for making our code more readable. Now, on gedit, if we go on preferences, and then on plugins, there is a plugin that is called sort. With that enabled, we can select the lines we want to sort, and then from the menu and tools we can access that plugin. Probably we can do it with a shortcut too, but bottom line we get this dialog asking us for some extra options that we don't really care. So let's do a simple sort. And all done! Next, let's reproduce the exact same with GNOME Builder maybe? So we again have our highly sophisticated strings, in the same order like before, so you can feel the emotion of familiarity and wholesomeness. And next we want to select the lines we want to sort, right? Wrong! Because before we should go to the options, and make sure we have the Vim mode enabled, with a dramatic effect. Now we took a good care of that, we should exit Vim insert mode, then select our lines again, and go to Vim command mode by hitting escape. Then we want to press the colon key for giving a Vim command, and that will open builder's command palette which is so beautiful design. Then with our lines selected, we can search for the sort command and that's pretty much everything. Obviously we didn't need to enable the Vim mode for doing that, but I just wanted to show you the full gameplay, and why on my last upload I said that Vim together with a command palette will make the new text editor so much better. And so, that movie is done! Oh, BTW? I wanted to let you know that this video is my first export with all of 0.2 that thanks to its redesigned audio engine it will make my already unbeatable voice cuter than ever, maybe? And meanwhile, you really think I forgot? I remember you specifically saying that you will fix the panel option to be only visible on shell overview. Like a week ago? So from where I'm standing the final question is, are you a programmer, or are you a noob?